Hey everybody, this is David Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. I learned something today I thought I'd share. Um, I use this mostly for white balance, uh, to get the correct white balance, and I use this for exposure. But also, sometimes I get lazy, and this is like down in my basement, and I don't want to go get it. Sometimes I use a white piece of paper. Well, I was trying to, what I do with my EOS uh, software, EOS software, is I'll take the little eyedropper and I'll click on the paper, which I did today because this was downstairs in the basement and it still didn't quite look right. So then I um, did it with this and then it looked much better. So what you're seeing right now is the white balance with this. And what I'm gonna do here in a second is I'm gonna pause this recording and when I come back, I'm gonna show you the uh, white balance using the white piece of paper. All right, now this is the white balance from the white piece of paper. And what I've noticed when I would click on it, the difference between what I had before was like the walls that I've gotten back of me that are kind of a bluish green. I'm so, uh, can't quite describe the color, but it's somewhere between blue and green. It definitely didn't look right. And my, um, yeah, it's making it look more green because I'm looking at the walls right now. So let me go back. All right, now I went back to the white balance using the using this. And here, let me show you the difference, just what white looks like. So the next time you want to use a piece of paper, remember it's not quite right. Um, definitely use this. All right, this is the portrait picture style, portrait picture style. Landscape picture style, landscape picture style. Neut neutral picture style, neutral picture style. Faithful picture style, faithful picture style. Monochrome picture style, monochrome picture style. And I'm using a green tint on this. Adds a little bit more um, contrast on my face. And also in the user manual, it talks about using green picture style of the green filter is good for skin tones and I think lips I think it said lips and this is the very flat uh, picture style that people used to create a cinematic look uh, by increasing the dynamic range I downloaded this picture style off of marvelsfilms.wordpress.com all right now I'm back to black and white what I'm trying to do is is learn more about color and because I haven't done any real color grading or color correction. I mean, I've done some and I've played around with it. I, I feel like I'm just getting my feet wet at this point and I'm starting to under, understand color a bit more. So I've got to do just some more tests so I realize what's going on before I actually start, you know, desaturating and changing all the other stuff from sharpness, contrast, and uh, tone. I think it's called tone. Anyway.